the EQ XJ can go up to 25 miles per hour with a range of 16 to 21 miles and better water resistant than most of the competition. This makes it one of the best electric skateboard on a budget on the market today at only $429. But is it any good? Let's find out. Tacha how I'm Gabi and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Yeku XJ. First, let's talk about the design. This is a concave deck and it, there is a little bit of flex into it, but not much. For someone heavy like me, that's the perfect amount of flex that I want on my board. The battery on this board is pretty thin, but it's thin from track to track. Talking about the tracks, they look a little bit weird, but they perform pretty decently. They're pretty good at carving and it is also pretty stable at high speed. In case you haven't noticed, Yes, this is a yellow grip tape with a wolf on it. The other day I have a friend coming home and he looked at it and he was like, wow, that is so cool. That's the nicest ball you have. So love it or hate it, you gotta give it to Yeku. It looks pretty unique. And in case you wonder, this sandpaper, I've been riding it for quite a while and it always looks clean. As a matter of fact, it might be cleaner than the traditional black sandpaper I have on most of my e-boards. So a little disclaimer here. Yeku sent me this board, but they did not tell me what to say. But I did ask them if this board have any special feature that differentiate a little bit from the competition. And they told me two things. First, they told me that the water sealing on the battery and ESC is superior than most of the competition. So better water resistance. I'm not a big fan of riding under the rain. I feel that that's a little bit danger, but you can definitely uh, go over some puddles, ride over the rain, no problem. Uh, I'm not gonna test that out and I'm not gonna dip it into water, but they sure, but just by looking at the, at the battery, it should uh, inspire some confidence. The second thing they told me is that they cannot focus with this board on power. But when I say that, you, the first thing that comes to your mind, okay, it's su super fast, right? It's gonna go, like wow, fly over things. Not precisely, it's not as slow, definitely not as slow, but when they focus on power, they actually focus on the power of climbing hills. And that's interesting. I mean, especially for me, because I have so many boards and anything that is special or different from my other boards, uh, okay, I appreciate that. Um, most boards can climb hills of 20, 25 degrees, maybe 30. This board can do 35 degree hills. So the climbing ability on this board is pretty good. And I did test that, I take this board to a mountain road and the whole time going up for like five kilometers, hill after hill, some hills pretty steep and the board keep up. It's not only just climbing, it's climbing with a speed. And it's not like you need to go fast to climb it. It's just like you start with, with the road being like this and you start climbing and you just keep climbing and climbing and climbing. And the, the great thing is that once you go down, the regenerative braking technology kind of charge the board again. So, I went up the mountain, down the mountain, and the battery didn't change much, really. And maybe I used 10%. So that is pretty fantastic. When it comes to the remote, we have the pretty standard hobby winds. And it's very simple and it works pretty well. So we have a power button, you press and hold to start the, the remote, and you press the button to, to power on the skateboard and they connect super quickly. We have a gear button to change the speed. And then we have the wheel that accelerates um, brakes and we have a directional switch over here so you can go forward or backwards so pretty simple very easy to use and you know it's a hobby winch which is always good such a low price i did not have very high expectations but my mind was blown the whole riding experience was really good either you're a beginner or an experienced rider you're definitely gonna appreciate it they have hobby wind esc which in case you don't know what that means, it means that the acceleration and the braking is very smooth. So you never feel like when you brake, you're gonna like fall off the board or when accelerating, you're gonna feel like, whoa, it just does it very smoothly. Generally speaking, the speed uh, of the acceleration is pretty good. The top end speed, I tested out and I got about 35 to 37 kilometers per hour, which is not far from the advertised 40 kilometers per hour on the website. So basically miles that would be 
um, they say it can go 25 miles per hour. I got about 21, 22 miles per hour. And the range, they say, is about 16 miles, and I got about 14, 15 miles. I, I tend to ride very aggressively. I ride fast and then also very heavy. So I'm sure if you're a lighter rider, you are definitely gonna get the top M speed that they advertise and the, the, the range of 16 miles. The only one thing that I didn't quite like about this sport is the weight. It is a little bit heavy. It is about one to two kilos heavier than some of the competition. Now that doesn't seem like much, so it's like about three pounds, maybe four pounds, depending you compare it to which ball, right? But uh, yeah, it is heavier. Uh, not very, very heavy, but heavier, definitely heavier. Um, you can always like carry it from the track, like having the rear wheels on the ground and just push it forward. But anytime you have to go upstairs, downstairs, putting the board on the car, you're gonna feel each and every one of those extra kilos, extra pounds in, if you're from America. And also if you're gonna be jumping in and out of the subway, bus, taxis, you name it. Well, it is a board that you should know, it is a little bit heavier. Not very heavy, but definitely heavier. So in conclusion, the Yeku XJ is a phenomenal board which will please beginners or very advanced riders. At only $429 and with the discount that I will put in the description down below, $20 off, is basically just $409. Just so round it up, $400. You have a pretty good overall experience and it's very affordable. And on top of that, you have Hobby Wing ESC, which means very smooth ride. Acceleration and braking is very smooth. The whole experience when riding this board is just really, really good. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, don't forget to give me a like. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. This is Gabby, and say ciao.